Hey guys, it's Phil Torres from The Jungle Diaries, and um, I got a really big announcement to make. This is something I'm, I'm really excited to say. I'm gonna have a baby. Uh, this is something I've wanted for years and years, especially working in the tropics, and I guess the only weird thing is that it's not a baby with my wife. Um, in fact, I haven't even told her yet. Oh, and the other thing is it's not a human baby, it's a bot fly baby, and it's growing in my back right now. I can, I can feel it kicking. It's a little weird, but... I love it. It's mine. Oh yeah, there she is. Girl baby. Ladies and gentlemen, meet my botfly. Squirming in there. Day 12. My name is Phil Torres and I'm a tropical biologist, which means I spend a lot of time in the rainforest studying all sorts of animals. So we're looking for monkeys. And my true love are the insects. But sometimes I forget to wear long sleeve shirts, and then this happens. Oh, that hurts. Okay, this is, uh, it happens about three times a day where it just really, it feels like a bee sting or something. So it's not too pleasant, but. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am absolutely certain I have a maggot growing inside me, and it's a botfly. So, Phil's told me to sit here because he has something to say um, and tell me about, and he's kind of smiling, so I'm also not quite sure what this is going to be about, but I, like, hate suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so babe, remember <laughs> when I told you about a mosquito bite on my back that wasn't going away? Yeah. It's a bot fly. What's that mean? Do you know what I'm about? <laughs> it's, so I have a fly larva growing in my back right No! Now. No! <laughs> I do. No, you don't. Yeah. No way. Yeah. It doesn't just, it's not like a mosquito, it doesn't bite you and just leave? No. Can you get it out? No, I want it to grow. No! You can't bring this to our home and keep yeah. it? This I want it on record that you're smiling and telling me that you have a bot fly. I think you should see it. No! Yeah. There, I'll show you. So it's okay. in it? So yeah, take off the band -aid. No! Take off the no. band aid. No. Take off the band aid. I don't know. I don't Take know. Mm. Yeah, band aid's off. So, you see that hole? Yeah. It's living in there. Mm. And if you look at it long enough, you'll see it kind of. No! No! And that's when it's breathing. Huh. No, most people when they get married <laughs> get like a puppy. I don't want a bot fly. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, this, is, this is a big moment for us. Um, uh, we haven't had kids yet, but now we're going to have a little baby bot no. fly. All right, so I think it's time for you guys to get up close and meet my bot fly. Now, I'm about to show you some of the best footage I've gotten so far where it's, it's right up there and you will see it actually come out. As you can imagine, living with a bot fly is not all fun and games. And uh, here's my shirt I was wearing yesterday and on my back left part, I've basically started to um, leak blood every day. So I now always have to have a band-aid on back there day or night to absorb everything that's coming out of there because it is essentially an open wound with something living in it. So um, that's pretty, pretty gross. But here is some super macro footage, which I think is really fascinating. Take a look. And here it is. This is the little botfly larva that is growing in my back right now. And if you wait a second, you're about to see it go back down into its hole. But what part of the larva are we actually seeing right now? And when it's coming out, what we're seeing are what it's called its spiracles. So it basically has a butt snorkel coming out the back end and that is how it breathes. Its face is digging into my back, its butt is sticking out, and yeah, it's gotta breathe. It bleeds through the bandage sometimes, and so like not super pumped about the stains on sheets and stuff. That's a conversation we have quite a bit. 
Yeah. I put on his band-aid and we roped some stuff on there. Um, so that's that's really fun. I'm really scoring in the wife points. Because I can't really think of an equivalent thing that I could do, like, well, except for maybe grow a human inside of me. Except for that's not gross, so. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of like it now, right? Like is a strong, <laughs> strong word. I understand what it's about. It's endearing, a little bit sexy, if you don't look at it. I, I have another vision of what it is, but today I had to film some macro footage that you'll see. I filmed, I just had to like almost blindfold myself, just blind and filming. Oof. Okay, so, ah, uh, yeah, sometimes it gets pretty painful. Now, I want to further understand this thing that is growing inside me. So I think the best way to do that would be to naturally go to a museum. Okay, uh, wow, that's really painful. Okay, I'm going to go to a museum. I want to see some specimens, and I want to learn about this thing that is digging into my back right now. And, yeah. Okay, there it died down. Let's learn about the bot fly. All right, well, good morning from one of my favorite places in New York City. I'll be honest, it was kind of a rough night. Didn't do a lot of sleep and there was a lot of pain, a lot of itching back there, but that's okay because today we learn. Yesterday is the larger group that includes uh, various bot flies. Horse stomach bot, the human bot fly, Bot flies in rodents, bot flies in all kinds of. These things. all sound absolutely lovely. They are—they're terrifically lovely. You're lucky you got the 